In a previous video, we set up the Perplexity AI API within a bubble app. We walked through this documentation, we took the sample curl request, and we found out that their API is able to scrape the web. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can potentially get unlimited content ideas using something like Perplexity AI. And a hint in how to do that comes from the way Perplexity works. How about searching and getting the latest news? Let's get into it. A problem with some of the agents on youraiagent.com is eliminating the manual input for all of the content creation agent tasks. For example, in auto blogging, we have to enter in a list of keywords that our agent will go through one by one and write an article about each of them. For the XBOT, we provide it a list of topics, a list of tones, and it automatically creates tweets based on different combinations. These other agents solve that problem. With auto marketing, we grab the best 1000 related keywords using the Google Ads API. For Reddit, we're responding on new posts. For the SEO heist, we're taking an RSS feed of our competitor's website, grabbing their latest article title, and rewriting a new article for our website. And for the tweet reply, we're obviously responding to new tweets. But we're still bound by the recency problem, and we're still a slave to manual inputs especially when it comes to all the SEO AI agents. But with the Perplexity API, we can solve that problem by searching the web. What if we get the latest news in our industry or niche and start writing articles around that content? For that, we're gonna need two steps in our web app. We're gonna need Perplexity AI to search the web. And then if we want an extra step, we can connect OpenAI, something like GPT-4 Omni, to take that information and write a better crafted article. First, let's set up the Perplexity API. So in your Bubble app, in the API connector, click Add Another API. I'm gonna copy this one exactly, but do it from the start so you can see how it's done. Name it Perplexity AI, and it needs three shared headers. So the first one is Authorization, and then Bearer space your Perplexity AI secret key. You get that by going to perplexity.ai, clicking on settings, and then API. First, you need to add a valid payment method and then add credits to your account. I added just $5 to get started. These models are super cheap to use. Searching the web is very inexpensive. And then once you do that, it opens up the API keys. I'm gonna delete this one in case some of you are trying to steal the key. Click generate, copy that key and then paste it into this input box here. We need another shared header. This is accept, and then the value is application slash JSON, and then one more. We need content dash type, and that is the same application slash JSON. For the API call, click expand. You can call this chat completions. I like to use it as an action in Bubble. This is a post request. And to get the post URL, you can go to docs up here. We're gonna to go to API reference, copy this URL, and then paste it in. Next, we need our JSON body. What I did was grab the entire curl request example. So copy this here, paste it in, and then change the system content message to be dynamic and the user content message to be dynamic as well. And that looks like this. In Bubble, you use caret brackets to make a value dynamic. So you can see I wrote system message within caret brackets. It turned it green, and then it opens up a dynamic input box below. So your users within your web app can write custom inputs there and have it sent through the API. If you like, you can also use the large language model instead of the small language model. It appears to just have a different parameter count and a larger parameter count for these models means it can handle more complex tasks. Make sure the model you use has online. That means it can search the web. And if you go to guides, supported models, you can find all of the perplexity models right here. 
Thankfully, the OpenAI API is very similar. I'm going to click expand. We have the same content dash type application JSON and then authorization bear space your secret key. You get your secret key by going to platform.openai.com and on the left side, clicking API keys, create new secret key. Naming your key is now optional. So I'm just going to click create secret key, copy this key and paste it into the input box. We want to make a chat completion. So I use it as an action, a post request, and it's posted to this URL, api.openai.com slash v1 slash chat slash completions. And you'll notice the JSON body is very similar. I just copy and pasted from their documentation as well. System content is a dynamic field. User content is a dynamic field. And I also like to make the model a dynamic field as well because sometimes it's a good idea to use a cheaper model for some tasks and then a more expensive, more advanced and complex model for more important tasks. GPT-4 Omni is very cheap right now, so I actually like to use it for everything, but this is still an option. Okay, I've created a basic bubble page with a button that says generate latest news. And we're gonna break this down into two steps the first step is we are going to use Perplexity AI to get the latest news about a particular topic. And then we're going to use GPT-4 Omni to take that information and write a long, beautifully crafted article. I'm going to click on this button, add workflow. We are going to add an action, plugins, Perplexity AI chat completion. For the system message, I'm going to write what are today's and then we're gonna grab the current date and time. Don't worry about that formatted as. In Bubble, you can choose how you want to format the date. I'm just making it look like June 8th, 2024. So what are today's top trending news results for the following topic? And you can have your users select a topic, or I'm just gonna write basketball, just to test this out. And then I'm gonna add an action. I'm gonna go element action, set state. We're gonna set the state of the page, the result, going to be the result of step one's choices, first item, message content. And this step is just this text at the bottom. It's grabbing the state of the page. So states are good if you don't want to add anything to the database. We are just testing right now. So we're going to click this button. It's going to generate the latest news around the topic of basketball and then display it here. So let's click preview. Okay, I'm going to click the button and here it says, the top trending news results for the topic of basketball is NBA Finals update. So two days ago, the Boston Celtics took a 1-0 lead against the Dallas Mavericks in the NBA Finals. We have some news about WNBA star Caitlin Clark. And at the beginning of the video, I showed the Google results for basketball. It's talking about NBA draft prospects, NBA free agency. And this one doesn't seem to be that relevant. This is older news. So I'm not quite sure how perplexity searches the web. Maybe the fifth result is something like NBA.com. But without a doubt, knowing what I know about basketball, these four things are relevant. Okay, now that we have the search results, it's time to add another step. We want to dig deeper into some of those search results before we can write an article that is good enough for our website. And I actually don't like using Perplexity AI for this next step. I find Perplexity is only good at searching the web. It's not really good at understanding complex tasks. So let's add an action. We're going to go plugins, open AI GPT. For the model, I'm going to use GPT for Omni. For the system content message, I'm going to write pick out and isolate search result number one. And for the user content message, I'm going to go result of step one choices, first item, message content, and then I like to use find and replace. We are taking out the quotation marks because quotation marks break API calls when they're in the JSON body. And then I want to add another step, plugins, perplexity AI. For the system message, I'm going to write search the web to find 10 points about the following topic. And this is going to be the result of step two, choices, First item, message content. Again, we'll go find and replace. We'll find quotation marks and replace it by nothing. 
Now let's set the state of the page. This time, it's gonna be the result of step three, its message content. Let's preview the page. I'm gonna click generate latest news. It's gonna take a bit because there are three API calls we're using. One, we are scraping the web. Two, we're grabbing the top search result. And then three, we're getting 10 detailed points about that top search result. And awesome, the first result for today's date appears to be about Caitlin Clark. Now this was actually point two when we originally searched the web, but Perplexity must have searched it this time and got Caitlin Clark instead of the NBA Finals. That's okay, it's still latest news. And now we have 10 detailed points that we can turn into an SEO optimized article. So now that that's working correctly, we're gonna add a fourth action step back to OpenAI. The model is GPT-4 Omni. The system content message is, write a detailed SEO optimized article using the following information. And that information is going to be the result of step three, choices, first item, message content. We are taking out quotation marks again. And then let's set the state of the page one more time. This time the result of step four. And that is the entire article written by GPT-4 Omni. So you can see how this is creating a latest news bot. You can set a bubble workflow to write a new article every day about a particular topic. I'm gonna to click generate latest news. And there we go, there's a full article talking about Caitlin Clark using all the recent information and data, all the up-to-date news that you could post on your website, get indexed by Google, and stay relevant in your industry or niche. This daily news agent will be a new task in your AIagent.com very soon. Let me know if this is something that excites you in the comments below. Run this for any type of industry, crypto, AI, sports, politics, global events. The possibilities here are endless. And this is what we get when we're able to use Google with AI agents. If you have an even better idea, of a way to use Perplexity AI in your own AI app, cater to your own audience, build something for your own customers. Check out the online course I filmed and designed called How to Build a Custom AI App. A link to this will be in the description below. And if you like this video, I put two more on the screen right now. Both have been catered to your personal YouTube watch history. Give one of them a click for me, give it a watch, and I'll see you in there. Later.